Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. And this is question number four from the textbook of the P3 International A level at Excel, your Mathematics 3 textbook. And this is chapter seven, integration exercise 7A. I have been requested by one of the students to answer some questions from this exercise. So I'm going to start. Um, I'll do a couple of questions in this video, questions four and five and um, explain them now question number seven uh, question number four sorry given that a is a positive constant and that the integral of 3x minus 1 over x with respect to x between the limits of a and 2a is equal to 6 plus lin a half find the exact value of a okay so now in this question here um, basically we have to know how to integrate this expression now this, this expression can integrate um, quite easily by splitting up into separate terms just like we learned in in p2 and p1 um, you know there's there's no reverse of the chain rule here because the numerator is not of the order of the differential of the denominator so you cannot uh, integrate it in that sense like um, you know using the reverse of the chain rule so what we can do here is we can split this up into two separate fractions so we know that 3x minus 1 over x can be expressed as 3x over x minus 1 over x, which is the same as 3 minus 1 over x. So that's how we're going to start, by expressing it in that form of 3 minus 1 over x. So we have the integral of um, 3 minus 1 over x with respect to x between the limits of 2a and a is equal to 6 plus lin a half, as we're told. Okay, so now we can integrate this and we'll end up with the square brackets. That gives us 3x minus, when you integrate 1 over x, it becomes lin of the modulus of x. Okay, that's something, one of the results that we have learned in this um, chapter. So those are the limits. And when I calculate that, it's supposed to be 6 plus lin of a half. And I have to use that fact to find the value of a for which this is true. So what I can do is I can now substitute 2a and a into here. So I have 3 times 2a minus lin of the modulus of 2a. Now they've told us that a is a positive constant, so I don't have to put the modulus sign here. We know it's a positive constant, so we don't have to keep putting modulus now. Um, minus, and you're going to have, um, I'll put a bracket here to protect it from the minus sign, 3x, um, and you've got minus lin of a. As I said, no need to put the modulus anymore equals 6 plus lin of a half. Okay, so now we can simplify this. This is 6a minus lin 2a minus 3a, x, minus 3a and plus lin a equals 6 plus lin a half. Okay, that was an a there. I don't know why I put x. So I've got 6a minus 3a, which is 3a. And then I've got, I'm going to write this in this way so it's easy for me to combine. I'll have lin a minus lin 2a equals 6 plus lin a half. And we can see what's going to happen here. When I combine these together, I'm going to show all the steps because it's important to show you. And also for, okay, so you've got lin a, a over 2a. And you, on this side, you've got 6 plus lin a half. So you have 3a plus lin a over 2a. Now the a and the, the a and the a cancel out, leaving us with lin a half. So I've got 3a plus lin a half equals 6 plus lin a half. Okay, so we can think about it by saying these are almost the same. It's just 3a is equal to 6. Or we can, what we can do is we can just uh, subtract lin a half from both sides. In either case, we get 3a equals 6. So a is equal to 2. So we found the value of a. And that's that question done. So over here, you start off by splitting it up into separate fractions and then integrating. Remember, the integral of 1 over x is lin x. And we know that from the result that the differential of, of um, lin x is 1 over x. Okay, now that's the answer to part, to question number four. I'm going to also do question number five in the same video. Okay, and this one is a um, similar type of question, except here we got to, we're dealing with e to the power of x. So it's told us that given that a is a positive constant 
and that the integral of this expression e to the power of x plus e to the power of minus x with respect to x between the limits of lin 1 and lin, and lin a is equal to 48 over 7, find the exact value of a. So the first thing we've got to do is integrate this. Now, this integrates quite easily because the integral of e to the power of x is itself. So that becomes e to the power of x. There's no function inside here. So you just leave it as e to the power of x. And here, this becomes e to the power of minus x divided by minus 1 because you have to divide by the difference of what's inside the function. So that becomes minus e to the power of minus x. It stays as it is. And you just divide it by the differential of what's inside the function. So you divide it by minus 1, so this becomes minus e to the power of minus x. And our limits are lin a and lin 1. And that has to give us 48 over 7. So now we've got to substitute these values in. So we have e to the power of lin a minus e to the power of minus lin a. Minus, and then you're going to have e to the power of lin 1 minus e to the power of minus lin 1. And that's equal to 48 over 7. And I got to find the value of a. Now, one of the things that you will notice here, it makes it easy. If I write this as uh, 1 over e to the power of lin a, that might make life easier for us. Because this is like the reciprocal. And here as well, you have e to the power of lin 1 minus 1 over e to the power of lin 1. Okay, now... One of the things that you'll realize is that lin x and e to the power of x are, are what are called um, inverses of each other. Okay, so e to the power of lin x is equal to x. They cancel each other out. Okay, and I can prove it if you want me to show you how that e to the power of lin x equals x. So if you have e to the power of lin of something, they cancel each other out. You're just left with that something in, inside the inside the function. The same is if I had lin e to the power of x, that's going to just give me basically x as well. That's a bit easier to see because you can just use a power law. But here I'll just show you. So for example, let me say e to the power of lin x. Let me call it y. Okay, and let me take the lin of both sides. Okay, so I have lin of e to the power of lin x equals lin of y. Okay, so when I... Uh, simplify this I can use a power law so I have lin of x times lin of e equals lin of y lin of e is 1 belongs to the base e of e is 1 so I'm, I'm left with lin x equals lin y so I can say y is equal to x so that means e to the power of lin x is equal to y y is equal to x that means e to the power of lin x is equal to x Okay, you can think of it like that but generally all you have to realize is that the, the function e to the power of something and lin to the power of something are inverses. So if you have if you put the fun, if you put a inverse inside its uh, original function, you they cancel each other out. So this will be leaving you with a here. Um, sorry, a and you have minus one over a, a minus one over a, and then you got in brackets here minus and this is e to the power of lin one will be one minus one over 1, because e to the power of lin 1 is 1, as I said. That's equal to 48 over 7. So now we see that you end up with a minus 1 over a equals um, minus 0. So you have a minus 1 over a is equal to 48 over 7. So now I can multiply both sides by 7a to get rid of the fraction. So I'm left with 7a squared minus, if I multiply this side by 7a, I'll get 7a equals 48. Okay. Um, no, minus 7, sorry, equals 48a. I multiplied everything by 7a. So this became mi minus 7, because minus 7a times minus 1 over a is minus 7. And this will give you 48 a, the 7's cancel out, leaving you with a, 48a. So I can solve this equation, 7a squared minus 48a minus 7 equals 0. To solve this equation, I can use my window method. I have 7a squared and minus 7. Two numbers multiply to give me minus 49a squared. Add to give me minus 48a. It must be minus 49a and plus a. They multiply to give me the same as that and add to give me minus 48a. 
So the common factor here is 7a. 7a times a is 7a squared. And 7a times minus 49 is minus 7. And a times plus 1 is a. So here we have the factors 7a plus 1 times a minus 7 equals 0. So now I've got my solutions. I can say either a equals minus 1 over 7 or a equals 7. The question said find uh, a is a positive constant. So therefore, a equals 7 is my solution, the positive constant. Okay, so that's how we dealt with that, that question there. That's question number four and five from this exercise. I hope that suffices. If there's still a problem with some of the other questions, I can go over them, but maybe that got you started off. Thank you for watching. Um, other questions from integration of P3, um, you will find in this playlist over here. Um, other que questions from chapter seven um, from this textbook, I will put place in this playlist. And um, you can subscribe to my channel, clicking on this link. The top of the page you'll see a link taking to a past paper of p3 thank you for watching and see you soon